Sup guys and welcome to the third part in my load balancing tutorial. So now I've set everything up. I have my three servers up and running here. I have created the application as you can see in, uh, in the app directory in the home folder. I have my app running. I'm using a Node.js application for this. Uh, you can use whatever fits your needs, I guess. Uh, I'm using PM2 to host the application and it's a node.js application that runs on port 3000 it has two endpoints it can use slash it gives you back hello world and also slash ping which will identify which application uh, server i'm hitting and this is going to be important later so the way i usually do stuff like this is i i need to some way even though it's replicated and the data should be exactly the same, I want to have some kind of mechanism for see uh, escaping some endpoints in order to check if they're alive. For example, if I use something called uptime robot or something like that, in order to figure out if uh, which server I'm hitting. So what I've done here, I have this environment file that just keeps the name of um, the instance that I'm running, so in this case server1. Then I have a git ignore file that uh, git ignores this uh, file so it's not included in the uh, version management. So, and then I included here my env.name. So this means that uh, when I call this ping endpoint, I get back hello from server1. And if I do the exact same thing on the, on the other IP address, this has like 0.10 and this one has 0.9 so if I hit the other one I'm gonna get hello from server 2 and hello from server 1 so I can can differentiate them uh, between each other and then I also have um, my nginx server running this is my load balancer on port 11 this is currently using port 80 I'm gonna change this later to port 3000 and that is the basic setup so uh, another important issue that's like symbolizing how, how this should work is that if you take this part right here and copy it up here, so this if is at the top, um, you're gonna have, this is the only endpoint that you're gonna have that behaves this way. All the other data that you have, uh, it's, it's a bit strange in my case because I only have one other endpoint, but the other endpoints here, these are the endpoints that are going to be replicated and they're going to give back exactly the same response whatever server you're hitting in the end. So this, the other endpoints, in my case the hello world endpoints, it's symbolizing your, symbolizing your business logic. So the other endpoints is going to be uh, replicated. So yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the basic setup. Uh, I hope you guys liked it and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know if there is anything unclear in the comment section and I'll see you in the next tutorial.